So here's, a, here's another good one. This one actually is a polyatomic ion, um, I3 minus. Okay, so it's pretty easy, I think, in this one to distinguish what's the central, right? Because there's only iodine. Um, the only thing you want to know about this is that one of the iodines, the central one, is expanding its valence, and the other one's off. Is everybody okay with that? So you got I, and we're just going to put all of their Lewis dot structures. Okay, so when you look at this, well, we still got to add another electron, but already when you look at this, you probably are like, if you didn't realize one of them has to expand its valence, you look at this and you're like, I can't make single bonds to all of these things. Okay, so at that, pardon me, at that point you should appreciate that one of them has to expand its valence, okay? So now we have to add our electron to it. So you gotta add the electron, especially in this case, to the one that's expanding its valence, because if you added it to over here, right, it couldn't make a bond. If you add it to over here, it can't make a bond. Does everybody see that? So we're gonna put that electron there. Okay, so that's I minus now. And uh, what's going to happen here? Well, let's just use these two electrons to bond. Just so we don't have to perturb the structure here too much. And again, remember, what I'm drawing here is just the Lewis structure, so it doesn't really have any perspective information. So again, I can move these electrons all around if I want to, too. So I'm just going to do that, because I'm going to draw it in such a way that gives us kind of a perception as to what it looks like. You already know that formal charge is on that iodine, that central iodine, because you put the electron on it. If you didn't know that, you can calculate it using your formal charge equation. So, um, is everybody okay with me erasing this set? tell me how many groups are around, electron groups are around the central atom, because that, I guess I gave it away. What does that determine, if you, t if you tell me the number of? Electronic geometry. The electronic geometry, right? So let's figure out what the electronic geometry is. What is the electronic geometry? How many groups does it have around it? Five. Octahedral. Five. Uh -huh, not octahedral. Penta. Trigonal bipyramidal as well. Trigonal bipyramidal. Okay. So, um, if you want to think of the, now I don't have them all the same color. But um, you can think of this is the trigonal bipyramidal structure, right? So you can see the two iodines um, that are making the sigma bonds are here and here, just the um, non-hypervalent iodines. And the middle one is the hypervalent. Of course, these, in this case, are electron groups, which you don't see. Right, is everybody okay with that? So, I mean, 
we could attempt to draw this structure um, emphasizing the lone pairs. Let's try to do that in such a way. Um, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do. Um, I, I would accept this as actually the perspective structure as well, you know, so the best perspective. But you can think of it as and hopefully you are, of course. Um, well, one of those long pairs will be in the plane, and one of them will be coming out towards us. Okay, so if that's okay for your eyes or whatever. And then the other long pair would be going on its back. And of course, the negative formal charge on that iodine. Is everybody okay with that? Sure. Okay. So hopefully you can see the trigonal bipyramidal nature of the electronic geometry. Um, what would we say that the molecular geometry is? single bonds for resonance. So let's just make that a rule of thumb. Okay, for this bond. Oh, but you can only go from like let's say there were double bonds. If there were double bonds, then. then you can move it. You okay. know, or a triple bond, you can move it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's resonance. Is if you're moving a double bond um, to an atom or to another bond, you know? Okay. So we'll I mean we just saw one earlier. I think we've gone over a few yeah. of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on this? Okay. 